Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Taisha with Organized Plans. I want to start by thanking all of my returning subscribers for spending some time with me today. And if you're new to my channel and haven't subscribed yet, I would love to have you. In today's video, I'm going to be setting up and refreshing my Happy Planner Classic Vertical Catch-All Planner um, for the second half of 2024. So if you'd like to see me refresh and set up my Catch-All Planner, then just keep on watching and let's get started. Okay, friends, this was a video I was really looking forward to making, and I had just recently purchased um, some items from the Happy Planner uh, Summer Release uh, that just uh, happened a couple of weeks ago, and I have now received everything um, in the mail and delivered, and so now I have everything on hand, and I can go ahead and refresh my catch-all planner for uh, the second half of 2020. 24. And this video is part of my mid-year um, planner lineup and refresh series. So if you missed that video, I do have a video sharing all the different planners I'm going to be using for the second half of the year, this one included. And, um, and so now in this video, I want to go ahead and get it all refreshed and set up um, for how I'm going to be using it. So in front of me, I have my um, planner itself and some new items, as I said, that were from the Happy Planner Summer Release. And I want to kind of refresh my planner. I want to keep the cover, um, but I want to change out the disc. I want to add in like some more new accessories and filler paper and those kinds of things. And the other thing is I... Um, Franken plan this planner, which is originally an undated planner with a dated uh, vertical planner. So that's what I'm going to do, get it all set up for the second half of the year. And then I will have a video um, showing that after the pen of all of my completed spreads in my catch-all planner for the first half of 2024. So definitely stay tuned for that video. It will be coming out this month and I'm looking forward to sharing, um, you know, kind of the after the plan and all the completed spreads. So I'm just going to move these items to the side and we will get started. And I'll very quickly just talk about the items that I picked up from the summer release. Um, I picked up uh, maybe two or three different items here that were part of the, um, I think it was called like the neutral line and I love it so much. Yeah, it's called neutral chic. And so in this line, I believe it had a planner. Um, it had this pack of um, filler paper that is grocery list. And um, I enjoy meal prepping and um, planning and everything, my meals each week. And so that's how I'm going to be using this paper um, for my grocery list. So I'll kind of fill in and think about my meals and then all of the ingredients that I need. So when I go to the grocery store, I can have this sheet um, to take with me. So I'm just going to open this up and... I think this comes in a pack of 40 sheets, so that will last 40 weeks basically for me um, because I do grocery shopping on a weekly basis, usually on the weekends. Um, and so you do have, I love how neutral um, this paper is. The layout is super clean, um, just super, I think, professional. I don't know. I love the look of it. <laughs> so it just says grocery list, the date, um, and then different categories for like your produce, meats, um, dairy, pantry items, beverages, miscellaneous stuff. And then what is definitely an upgrade from um, the Happy Planner did 
previously, um, and I think it's still available on their website. They do have a paper pad of a hundred sheets, I think it is, um, of grocery sheets. Um, and I have been using that for probably a couple years now. Um, and I really like how they revamped um, this paper because not only do you have the grocery list on one side, but the meal prep on the other side. So this is where I'll, I'll kind of write out for the week what I'm planning on having um, or doing for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and then any other ingredient prep. So I love how they kind of revamped um, this and I really going to enjoy using um, this and uh, having a section for this in my catch-all planner. Um, another item that I picked up from the release is this filler paper. It is in classic size again, 40 sheets, part of that neutral sheet line. And this is um, daily sheets. And so this um, paper is really pretty. You all know how I love daily sheets. I really enjoy um, putting these in my work planner, especially. And I love the streamlined look of this paper. A lot of the other daily sheets have like shading on it and boxes and everything. And again, I just love the clean look of this. Um, so it just says today's plan, the date, three priorities, just a running to-do list. And then you have an open spot for notes. So I think that is going to work out really well for me. I don't plan on putting this in my catch-all planner, but I do plan on using this in my work planner. And then on the back, it is kind of like a cream color um, and just shading with a dot um, grid uh, um, that you can write on. So this could be like if you're in a meeting and you have notes that you want to take uh, and then this other, um, the front side for those priorities and tasks for that day. So really looking forward to using these daily sheets um, for sure. Uh, and then the next thing I picked up was um, this uh, accessory pack from um, the Neutral Chic line as well. And I love getting stuff like this. <laughs> I say, I, for, for me, this is what I feel like just makes planning a lot of fun is kind of jazzing up your planner with different accessories. And again, I love the clean look um, of this Neutral Chic line. Um, so in this set, you get a little bit of everything to kind of set up your planner. So it, I do have a folder here. It's kind of a black and um, beige color. It just says make big plans. So that's going to be great. Um, it came also with a um, like bookmark. It says note to self. Love this. And then it has um, some sticky notes as well. And they're on like this little bit of plastic here. So you could easily just punch this right into your planner and just very neutral colors. Um, it comes with, uh, let's see, three sheets of stickers. So you get boxes, um, some like header for important reminders, priorities, appointments, and then more like page flags to do's header stickers, so just very functional, um, very professional, clean, um, neutral look. I also love that this came with um, a envelope. I love the envelopes. Um, again, this is in like the classic size, and it says work hard, plan hard. Oh, this is so pretty. So just a simple of the plastic envelope, and I know I'm going to love that. And then the rest of this is just um, paper that came with it. So you get two styles of paper. This is really unique. I didn't even realize this when I, um, you know, purchased this. So it looks like you get, um, for this, it says the details and it's already folded and punched. And so you've got some space for writing here. And then on the inside, oh, this is so nice. Okay, great. It says this week's plan. And so you have basically a sheet if you want to plan out your entire week on one page um, and have something that is easy. You can just grab this and even take this with you just like this. 
um, you could have your plans um, for the week and then this could be like a running to-do list um, so that is really neat and functional and so you just have the seven days of the week in the box for priorities and then on the other side is you have a long um, circle kind of checklist again for lots of to-dos notes and then those um, boxes for the week so this is so great um, I love this concept so I'm really going to enjoy that and then um, the last thing, it just came with this simple um, note paper. It says, take note. It's just lines. It has a little bit of a black um, banner across the top and uh, just the same thing on the back side. I think there's probably like 20 sheets of these. So such a great value just in that one accessory pack to really, um, you know, add um, different things things to your planner um, to really customize it. So I love that. Um, and then just really quickly, the last few things I'll just um, share that I picked up from the summer release. Um, one was these discs and they are supposed to be hollow um, graphic. Things. These are 11 discs, they're plastic. And as I said, I picked these up because I thought these were a little bit unique. And again, they um, said they were like a hollow style. Um, holographic style to me <laughs> in person they look just like gray <laughs> uh, a gray kind of a mix of silver and gray so I don't know um, I just thought these were a little bit unique they were only um, a few bucks so I'll add these to my disc collection and then the last thing was the sticker book by Tania um, or Tanya Garcia and it says year-round whimsy I love this sticker book because it was a seasonal sticker book and just really fun illustrations I'll do a very quick flip through of it so these would be the winter stickers really pretty fall with the pumpkins and leaves and sweaters love that color combination these will be for summer yes with the girls skating the bright colors the pinks yellows and greens and then for spring, you've got the bunny rabbits and um, and flowers and everything. So, and then it looks like this is going to be for um, Valentine's. Yeah, a couple pages of those. So really pretty. So yeah, this is really unique. I love seasonal planning. Um, I have the other sticker book by Tanya Garcia that is um, travel themed. And I thought this one would be a lot of fun to have as well. Okay, so now that I've got all of that out the way, <laughs> and, you, and you know what I picked up from the summer release, um, let's go ahead and get started with refreshing and setting up this planner. Um, so as I mentioned, I am franking planning two planners together, um, and I have all of my extra pages in here. And this is a very nice planner. Um, it's super neutral, which I love, but I um, just wasn't a fan of the dividers. I really like the dividers in the planner that I'm using, and uh, but I don't enjoy redating um, my planner every month or every week. So this is what I'm going to be using, kind of the guts of all of this um, for July, August, September through the end of the year. This is just a 12 month planner. So I will have to get another a vertical planner um, and I'll be on the lookout for something as part of the fall release that will start in January of 2025. So these are the, the dated pages and then I also just kept in this planner um, the pages that are undated so I'm going to be pulling these dividers but as you can see the rest of it is completely um, un undated and I would have to date it every day. Um, and so yeah so so that's what I'm going to be pulling these dividers and pulling in the months and really kind of just building this planner from the ground up. I think that's what will work um, best for me. So I'm going to grab the covers 
and I probably need to wipe these down some, um, but we'll start with that. And as I said, I want to use, instead of the gold disc that I was using, I want to use these um, black metal discs. And so what I like to do is just kind of bring, line the covers up side by side and then just snap on each disc one at a time. I love metal disc and um, I use the gold metal disc for the first half of the year. And yeah, I just thought it would be nice to kind of switch it up for the second half of the year. And black is always so pretty and classic, you can't go wrong with it. Okay, so that is going to be the outside of the planner with the covers and everything. And so now let me just go ahead and add in, um, let's see here, I'll add in like the calendar. Let's do that. So this was like my name page. Let's put that in. And then this was the name page from the other planner. And I'm just gonna keep this because the undated planner doesn't have the calendar and this one does for 2024. So that will be perfect for me. And, um, and so what I'm gonna do is just start with grabbing um, the July section and I'll put that down. Okie dokie. I did go ahead and plan for the first week, but I wanted to hold on and uh, do this video to kind of set up the rest of the weeks and months. And as you can see here, I am pulling in all of July. All right, so this will be um, to start off. And I'll need to bring in a current page as well for there. And now I'll fill in the rest of the months. So let's do that. And would love to hear if you're refreshing any of your planners for the second half of the year. Um, generally, I, I would just say I continue to love um, my catch-up planner. I love the vertical layout um, and just how clean it is. Um, and that style for me suits me really well for my catch-all planner. Um, and if you're new to my channel or just new to planning and not sure, you know, this concept of a catch-all planner, how I use that or interpret it is really all the things that I want to kind of have that I have going on in my life all in one place. So this is things like, um, you know, things that I have going on with work, with family, um, birthdays, holidays, travel, appointments, um, errands. It could be chores, just any of those things for like day-to-day -day life. Um, that's how I use um, the catch-all uh, planner for me. Um, so I've got all of, I've got July, August, September, October, November, and now December in here. And again, the concept of a Franken planner is you're basically um, combining multiple planners into one planner. Um, and so that's how that works. So I'm going to come back now to August. And I want to put in the dividers that I actually want to use. And this is just so pretty. <laughs> and again, nothing wrong with the, uh, this is a very pretty aesthetic as well with the stars and moon and everything. But I just love all things florals. And I just thought this planner with the botanicals and everything was just so, so pretty. Um, and so that's why I want to use this divider and to coordinate with the currently page that I'll decorate, but then the inside pages will be the dated part. Okay, so moving on to September. I'll put this one in. It says, hello, beautiful day. Love that pink. And then for October, we've got like this floral pattern, um, but it's like shades of orange. So I think that's perfect for the month. Um, and then November, 
really pretty with the black and gold foil and the florals. And then finally, December. And it says, life is a journey. And then what I'll do for the pages that I've used for the first half of the year, I'll store it back in this planner so everything is all in one place. And that way at the end of the year, um, I will have kind of like the, the completed planner. So, so now we've got the base of everything set up and refreshed and ready to go. Um, this is where I wanna put in some of those extra things. So for example, I will use this divider here, and this will be a section for that meal planning because I, I like to do that, um, especially when I fill in my planner for the week. I like to uh, think about like, what do I have going on that week um, to help me with thinking about like meal planning and meal prepping and so forth. So that's why I wanna use these sheets um, in this section. And I'll just start with like 10 maybe. And again, these will last me um, almost an entire year because I do most of my um, grocery shopping on a weekly basis. And so that will be perfect for me. So now I have this section for groceries and meal planning and meal prepping. And then I want to use from those other items that came with this planner, I want to put in a folder for just any other like loose things. And I want to bring in this, um, bookmark that says note to self and as you can see i really like neutral accessories i want to keep my planner like as neutral as possible and really just enjoy all the color from the stickers um, for like the monthly and weekly um spreads so I'm just grabbing a stack of paper as well, and that will go behind that bookmark, um, and this will be for notes. Um, let me just kind of divide this up a little bit, uh, too many pages at once. So I'll just kind of split that in half. Okay, and for the note paper, yeah, it just is like anything else that I might need to jot down. I'll have just some plain, really um, simple note um, filler paper to use and then I'll have that folder and then I'm thinking I might want to have one final divider for or bookmark for um, some extras and so things like um, each season I like to create a, a seasonal bucket list of things to do um, for that season or just other um, little pages like DIY pages different um, some of the things that I created earlier in the year was like a book tracker a nail polish tracker <laughs> trying to think what else a date night tracker so those are the kinds of things that I'll put in this like extra section to go in the very back. And I think um, maybe one last finishing touch that I'll add in is again, this envelope. Um, I love, I think this coordinates really well. It's really soft and neutral in this tan color. And I think that is gonna do it for um, this setup. I probably will maybe add a black cover um, onto here or something like that. And otherwise, I think I'm good to go for the rest of this year. Um, so just one final click, quick flip through. I am using the Feathers and Flowers Undated planner and um, franking planning that with the I think it's called stargazer one um, and that is an undated planner and a dated one I have this um, envelope here the name page the calendar um, for the year 
and then I'll go in. I'll have to find another page that will be for the July so I can have that for my currently page here. I will have that. I could label um, these so I know which month it's for, but when I turn it over this way, because these will kind of be grouped together, I'll know um, from the inside. So this will be September, October, November, and December. And then at the back is where I will have the pages that I'll use for grocery list, meal planning, and meal prepping. And just some sheets there. And then another bookmark um, and some simple filler paper. And then finally that folder. And then lastly, just another bookmark where I can just uh, store in some additional like DIY sheets. And I think that's one of the beauties of the Happy Planner system, just how versatile it is and how you can really make the planner that you're using your own um, and customizing it, adding accessories, all those things, changing the disc, like whatever you want to do. For me, that's what makes, um, you know, planning really fun. Um, I, that's why I really like the Happy Planner brand, um, brand and, and uh, style of planners just because of the versati versatility and customization um, that I can do with it. So that is going to wrap up this setup video for my catch-all. I'm so excited that I am now all prepped and ready to go for the rest of this year. And so you'll have to let me know what you think down in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to click the like button and give me a big thumbs up. Would greatly appreciate you subscribing. I thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye friends. Oh,